Did you need something? Sure, ask away. I was raised in Hope Town on Polvo. It's a corporate town run by Ron Hope, the CEO of Hope Tech Manufacturing. He likes to sell it as a utopia, a place where workers are provided everything they need for a happy life. But that's a lie. The conditions are awful for the average person in Hope Town. Almost everyone there lives hand to mouth. HopeTech is a starship manufacturer. They make cargo freighters and other industrial vehicles. Most of them are clunky eyesores, barely suited for grav jumping. But people keep buying them, so HopeTech keeps making them. I grew up on the edge of poverty, like most working class people in Hope Town. My parents' wages from Hope Tech barely kept food on the table. For a long time, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. Ron Hope does a good job making sure his workers feel like they're being cared for. It wasn't until I got old enough to start working in the factories myself that I started to understand how bad things really were. It's Ron Hope's fault. He controls everything that happens in Hope Town. Our entire economy is dependent on him. There's nothing stopping him from increasing wages and improving safety in his factories, but he won't do it. Keeping your workforce poor and plying them with cheap liquor at company stores is a good way to keep them around. I think more people would if they had the chance. But Hope Tech makes it almost impossible. They barely make enough to keep the lights on, let alone start a new life outside of Hope Town. That's why I joined the Freestar Rangers. I knew they'd fly me to Aquila for training, and I wanted to do something more meaningful with my life than building starships. I thought being a ranger would be a perfect fit, but it didn't turn out like I was expecting. Boarding the ship to leave Hope Town might be the best thing that happened to me while I was a deputy. In the stories I heard growing up, the rangers were always described as the ultimate champions of justice in the galaxy. If you've spent any time in the Free Star Collective, it's obvious that they haven't even made a dent in the problems there. Just look at Neon. Poverty and crime are all over the city, but the Rangers barely bothered to patrol it. Learning that made me reconsider my opinion of them. Why? Because I want the best for the people around me? It isn't my problem that most of the settled systems doesn't seem to share my way of thinking. Hopetown is far from the only place with problems in the Freestar Collective. Leaving Polvo opened my eyes to that. It showed me that Ron Hope's attitude isn't unique. The Freestar Collective is full of people willing to take advantage of others to get what they want. And there are barely any systems in place to stop them. No one to tell them no or punish them for it. That's the downside of the Freestar way of doing things, huh? No social safety nets. It's hard for anyone born into poverty to improve their situation, especially with people like Ron Hope and Benjamin Bayou in power. I'm sorry to hear that. Nobody deserves to be taken advantage of by the system. 
There has to be a better way of doing things. The longer I spent with the Rangers, the more I started to feel like they served the Free Star Collective's government more than its citizens. I couldn't make peace with the fact that an organization that claimed to stand for freedom and individuality let places like Hope Town exist. Eventually, the hypocrisy was too much. I made the decision to resign and move to the UC. It seemed like people there might share more of my views. I'm sorry, Captain, but I disagree. They could be doing better. Especially in Neon. I thought I did, at first. New Atlantis is clean and safe, and most of the people there are happy. And it seemed like the government was doing a lot to keep it that way. But my perspective changed after I took an entry-level job with UC Security. They stationed me in the well. I couldn't believe the conditions down there. It made all the UC talk of a perfect society seem like propaganda. The more I started looking around, the more cracks I saw in the whole thing. The UC makes a show of promising job placement and housing options to all its citizens. But if those programs exist in the well, there's no sign of them. Most people down there live in the same conditions I saw in Hope Town. There's crime and unemployment, and a lack of good medical care. It's nothing like the rest of New Atlantis. You'd never know that from the outside, of course. It all seems just a little bit too shiny when you really start to look closely, huh? I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. Once the wool fell from my eyes, living in New Atlantis lost its luster. That's when I decided life in the major factions wasn't for me. The problems run too deep. There's corruption and division everywhere. And not enough people are willing to see it. I don't think that will change anytime soon. It seems to me like the only option is starting over, huh? Founding a colony without the influence of massive governments and corporations. Maybe... Maybe people would be kinder to each other in a place like that. We won't know until someone tries it, huh? I don't know why that shouldn't be me. I can't just sit around and watch the problems in the settled systems get worse. It's not who I am. But I'm not rushing into anything. If I'm really going to do this, I need to get a better sense of how people live all over the settled systems. That means visiting the major cities and looking at both the good things and the bad. That way, I can decide what things I want to keep, and what I am going to leave behind. Good thing I am working for a captain that likes to travel, huh? We'll hit all the major cities in no time. That's fine by me, Captain. I get wanting to avoid the major factions. I'll settle for looking around the cities during supply runs between our trips.
I always enjoy our chats. <laughs>